Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's Carrier Parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild your fuel injector. Where did you get the new fuel injectors? Mike's Carburetor Parts. I thought they only sell carburetor parts. No, they also sell high quality fuel injectors. Mike's Carburetor Parts knows about injectors too. First of all, to help identify your injector, uh, look for the casting number. The casting number, will uh, you can cross it over to most part numbers. It just helps identify it. Uh, this is this one is 195500-2120 and if you give us that number we can cross it uh, but generally you can go by the application so uh, we stock most of the injector repair kits this is a repair kit here plus the filter uh, injectors should be clean the filter and the rubber parts replaced uh, anytime you have the injector removed like I say, we uh, stock most of them. Just go to mikescarb.com. That's M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B.com. And click on the injector menu. And uh, you'll see uh, that will lead you to all the different parts for the injectors. Okay? We recommend you get your injectors professionally clean using a fuel injector test bench, which we have. And why is that? Uh, because it's the only way you can be sure the injectors are balanced. Without measuring the volume in all injectors, you could have one not quite balanced with the other injectors, uh, which could cause rough running. So uh, when we clean injectors, they're all returned just like this with all new parts, new microfilter and rubber parts. Uh, that being said, uh, let's remove and install the uh, small parts. First we'll remove the microfilter here. Uh, there is a special tool that you can use to take these out but uh, if you're only doing it one time it's your own car uh, then you can use a simple screw put the screw in the vise and I'm going to screw this on it's got to be small enough to uh, fit the filter and you screw it on a little ways pulled off like so and that's it And I need a new filter here. All right, so put that there first. Like I say, we're going to put them in order. That way we know which, how they went. Uh, you got a little O-ring here we're going to take off. And in case I forget to uh, tell you, when you put it back in the uh, car, on the rail, or in the engine, uh, put just a dab of oil on the O-ring. And it wouldn't hurt to do it. put it on a little bit all, on all the rubber parts. These, uh, with the heat of the engine and everything, they uh, tend to crack and leak. Okay. Alright, so there we go. So now in reverse order, these are happen to be new parts. Uh, in reverse order, we can put it back. By the way, this is the pintle, what you call the pintle. This is where the fuel comes out. Put that on there. Take this little collar, rubber collar, and put it on here. Then the O ring. And then uh, this is a micro filter. Push it in as far as you can. You may have to tap it in to get it flush. And that's it. So, like I say, you can get these parts at mikescarb.com. We do appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.